Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the review of what happened in the Austrian Bundesliga over the past weekend. You can see my voice is still not good. Getting there slowly, 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 slowly. Um, it was an interesting round and ahead of the international break we actually have something that we didn't really expect happening. That we have a new leader in the table in Sturm Graz who are still unbeaten. And at this point you gotta say they may be a challenger. Although it's still very, very early in the, in the season. But... Between the two international breaks, Salzburg actually did not have a really good window, so uh, that's something to watch out for in the future. I, of course, was with my girls and this time with my aunt at the last game, so I have to talk about a little bit about that. We also had the Vienna teams who had been a little bit in some struggle, getting some clear wins as well. So I think they are the pressure is also a little bit relieved before the international break. But before we're going to start that, I want to show you here the um, uh, fixtures for the cup round that has, where we talked about the draw last time around. You see uh, they are played from the 31st of October, which is only one game, Wolfsburg's match at Leom. Then we have a bunch of them on the 1st of November and the 2nd of November we have two. I think an interesting one, Altach Blauweiß Linz. Altach is a team that probably should do that. And then of course the Graz Derby, uh, which is a pretty big uh, deal here. And I'm still uh, wondering whether I should do a video because Lask is about to play Sturm Graz then just four days later, whether I should do a video on the Derby or I should uh, do a video on just Sturm Graz. You let, let me know what uh, you would like to see. Maybe I'll put a poll up. But let's talk the, uh, the round we had. Rapid Vienna going to Austria Lucerne. At this point, Austria Lucerne really seems like the worst team in the league losing easily 5-0. Austria win also with finally score goals again and hold on to a lead. Andy Gruber, I still don't understand why Lask let him go, but okay, uh, scoring three in the process and getting also an easy win at Austria Vienna. At this moment, this was much need needed for them because they're very low in the table. Hartberg took a while but also got three goals against here also. I mean, everything was really, really clear on Saturday. Sunday, let's talk Lask against Altach first. Um, it was the expected really, really tough game for Lask because I knew that Altach is not an opponent that will just, um, you know, fold. It, I expected it to be um, a game where you have to be careful uh, not to concede count, counter attack and not to be out fought and also where you have to take your chances. And yeah, it didn't really quite happen. Um, I have to say that Altach defended really well and they were super dangerous on the counter I mean, already early on, they hit the upset of the crossbar. Uh, they had two shots where, you know, the shooter was clear and Laval had to save on the flip side. Though, I think Lask controlled the game and created chances. Uh, it was just the last pass so there was always a foot of an Altach player in there so they still had to have the problem to break opponents down like it did in the Europa League and as of late it also has to be said that their key absences I mean uh, Horvath in midfield is a major miss uh, you also had um, Ren Renner in defense Felix Lukaneda so those are three big players for the team that were missing so uh, in that sense my expectations were not that high Second half, I mean, there, 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 there was really a period where Lask were pressing, but then you always get count count on the, on the counter attack. Uh, at the first 15 minutes after that, again, Lask more in um, attack, but then the game completely fell asleep for a good 15 minutes. Yes, there were some chances here, here, there, but again, it was more falling to Altach, who uh, hit the post with former Lask player Reiter doing that. So uh, you gotta say at that point, Yes, Lask had more of the game and created enough, but if Alter a little bit more clean, clinically, you're down two or three goals. And so, yes, um, Coach Sagada brought on everyone, the cavalry, if you like. Most importantly for Lask fans, he brought on Peter Michael, who, uh, you know, was a stalwart for most of the years. But honestly, his performances earlier this season were not so great, and so he was cut from the squad. And even played with the amateur team, which um, kind of uh, did rub the fan base a little bit wrong. I'm one of the few I actually understood why, because he was really not good uh, at that point. But yes, he's a uh, he's a true last player at this point, and let's hope that he will actually find form and gets better. Uh, he actually um, did good work uh, yesterday. 
However, the goal came from tirelessly working Goiginga and while his moves might be uh, mostly very predictable, he finds Schul who turns around gets a slight deflection. The goal goes in in the 82nd minute, right in front of us. Celebration, cue celebrations. And yes, the family was happy with that. It was a hard fought win, but it was an important win because like Salzburg, the um, Lusk's performance, especially since the Liverpool game, uh, that there was as a real before Liverpool and after Liverpool uh, performance-wise, and that was not so great. Let's move on to the uh, top of the table, where it's the chase between Sturm and Salzburg. Both have had to play in Kärnten. Wolfsburg actually took a lead through a Wüthrich own goal, uh, where there was kind of calls for Sturm for a possible handball, but the same could be then said for in the, in in the second half before uh, the go ahead had goal. So it gets on balance. It was right. Uh, the referee in studio kind of explained the decisions and said he, he was happy with either of them. I guess I was happy too. Uh, Sturm didn't create much, but the little they created, they actually converted quite uh, brilliantly. It was a great free kick that got the equalizer and a few minutes later. Uh, a really nice move made it 2-1 and in that case Sturm uh, turned the game around that XG wise, they should have lost, but this is, shows you just the quality. And then Salzburg had actually a 2 0 lead, but before they have uh, Klang for Bosman back, and then they get to Yaritz and equalize in the 74th minute. And again, you have to ask how good are Salzburg at this point? Again, it's early in the season and the points get halved, so it probably doesn't matter all that much. But with these results, Sturm Graz are sitting on top of the table, still unbeaten. Uh, there are chances of becoming champions slightly higher now. Uh, you see Lusk and Hartberg probably kind of there in this no man's land. I would probably add Rapid, but not much more. Uh, those are the teams that probably will round out the top six. Maybe Austria Vienna can make a run for it, but I think they, there's quite some distance already there. Um, and you see it also in the expected uh, final, uh, regular season uh, stats, the standings that uh, it's those six teams that I've said that probably will make the top six at the moment. Uh, the next round, last have to go to Salzburg, not an easy one. Lustenau probably will want to get something out of Linz meeting Blau-Weiss. Uh, that is probably also a telling game. Then we have a Styrian derby between Sturm Graz and Hartberg. So quite some interesting games. Uh, Rapid against Austria Klagenfurt is also uh, tightish in a way. Last program come, coming up though is a really, really tough one. Uh, you have Salzburg, as well as you have Rapid, uh, Salzburg away. You have a, a rapid away, you uh, play the Sturm at home, you uh, play uh, the Derby away from home, and then you have two games at Union Saint Julius, first away and then home. So, a uh, really, really tough program coming up. So, I'm not, let, let's put it that way, I'm not super optimistic for the upcoming games, but overall, I think the direction is the right one, and one has to see that this season is probably. A transition season where you want to get at least fourth, ideally third spot, and I think they are on track of getting third. In any case, that was it from me from the Austrian Bundesliga. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.